Hi, welcome again to this channel. I am happy to have you all again here. Please keep watching. Today we are going to look at Swahili subjectives. Karibu sana. Swahili subjective is a polite form for requesting things, giving directives and suggestions. This is done by changing the last vowel A into E. In Swahili, it is said from vowel A to vowel A. Subjective can be positive or negative. Positive Swahili subjectives are as follows, can be used as follows in sentences. Tafadhali nisaidie. Mean means please help me. Tafadhal is please ni idea is help me. Lazima uende sokoni. You must go to the market. Lazima is you must. Uende is to go. Sokoni is at the market or to the market. Uende is from the word kwenda or to go. Nibora ujifunze kiswahili. It is better you learn swahili. Acha tupige picha yetu ya pamoja. Let us take a picture of us together. So, subjective here, subjective, subjectives here are nisaidie ujifunze tupige. And the last one is uende. The sentence says unaumwa ni bora uende hospitali you are sick you better go to the hospital negative swahili subjectives usitupe takataka don't litter so the formula to know if the subjectives subjectives is subjective is a, a negative one is the word usi in a sentence before the action so usitupe takataka means don't litter. Usivute sigara, don't smoke. Usipite hapa, don't pass here. Don't drive the car when you are drunk. Usiendeshe gari ukiwa umelewa. Usizunguke, niambie kuhusu kazi yako. Don't beat around the bush, tell me about your work. Usizunguke in Swahili means don't beat around the bush in English when it is used as such in a sentence. That is all for today. Thank you for watching.